Good morning, everybody. I have my chemo today, and my last one was horrible. But I'm hoping this one is not as bad. This is my second to my last chemo, so I only have two more, which I'm really excited about. And I got my nails um, done, so there's like a little white nail with the ribbon and the rest are silver glitter yeah i'm almost done i'm really excited that i'm almost done I have to be at the hospital by seven today and my aunt is coming to the rescue and <laughs> taking me and she's gonna come home and clean um, upstairs because she cleaned yesterday so she's helping me like so much okay so as I get ready and I brush my teeth, I have to put this lidocaine cream on my port. I have clean hands already, um, but they're still obviously going to sanitize. And I have a little like bralette, so it's easier for me to like, you know, pull it so they can clean it and sanitize it. But I still don't like touching it with my bare hands. So what I do... <gasps> Don't do that. I made a mess. Well, I'll use this then. But anyways, you dab it on there. Not like that, but. Not a lot. I mean, you don't need a lot. But I just put it where they're gonna poke. The Glad uh, Press and Seal, so. I mean, it works pretty good. I just, see, it's stuck to my skin now. It keeps it from moving and I just kind of rub it over. I think I'm going to do two braids. Good enough for now. I just don't want it to get tangled. Warning, the following content may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. I will be changing my ileostomy bag and if anybody does not want to watch that, please skip. Thank you. The next thing I'm going to do is going to change my ileostomy. It's pretty gross. So I have, this is what I have. I have some um, uh, puffs because I feel like th this is way too rough for my stoma. So um, I don't know. I will show you guys pretty much how I get stuff like set up. So yeah. I have everything in here, so I'm just going to get it Um, I got these because I ran out of the the other ones. Oh my god, my stomach is growing. I'm hungry. So I basically make myself a little trash can. Right here, kind of like this, just to throw everything in there. And then I get my bag. And I, I already kind of know my size. It's like this, a little bit smaller than the smallest circle because Louis, Louis is pretty small. So I just cut it out. I got these pink ones from Amazon. It's just like easier. Oh. Warning, warning, just a warning. Um, it's kind of gross, but um, yeah, I just kind of tuck it um, and then I take this off and what helps me to prevent any burns is I use the stoma adhesive and I'll show you guys how I do it it's really sticky so I don't put it on myself I actually feel better um, doing it this way but this is how I do it and this is the easiest way to prevent any leaks or um, burns or anything like that and just kind of go around twice, spread it out, and that's it. So now it looks like that. Not perfect, but I mean, easier. I'm almost out of the thing, but I have another one right here. So I just spray it. I start peeling it back. And you see how there's like, I try to clean that off. Um, 
kind of in a hurry today, so I'm just gonna leave that. I'll clean it off. And this is not painful at all. And just a little hairs, like if you have little hairs, that might hurt, but not bad at all. This is just how I do it. Throw that in there, the trash can. Clean off the spray. Just be very careful when you go next to your stoma because it you can make it bleed very easily. And then I just gently kind of tuck that under. And they had given me this at the hospital, but I just filled it with um, uh, empty, or I just filled it with, with that saline. It's, or you could just put water in it. It's fine. It's, yeah, just kind of wash it off. I don't rub it. I'm very gentle, very gentle with it. So I don't hurt it. But it's not like irritated or anything. And I like to do this in the morning. I prefer to do it in the morning because um, it's not like leaking like crazy. And then I'm gonna use a no sting skin prep. Oops. Just spray it. it. It's okay if it gets on the stoma. It's not anything. It's just to protect your skin from the adhesive, pretty much. And I like to open this entire thing, put air in there, and I'll show you why. So then I kind of hold it like this so I can put pressure on from the inside. And okay, so now I just kind of, yeah, tuck it up against the bottom. That's pretty good right there. And just make sure that you're standing up straight. So this is why I like to have my finger in the middle because I get to rub it really close to the stoma and so it won't prevent any leaks. Again, being very, very gentle. And then I just kind of open it and I bought this um, online, which I'll leave a link in down below that really helped with the smell. Um, so it was... Safe and Simple Ostomy Pouch Deodorant. This is my second bottle. Um, and it helps tremendously with the smell, um, especially during chemo. It stinks really bad. So I like to use this. So I just open it and I put a little couple squirts in there. So not too much, that's it. And every time I go to the bathroom, I usually do it in here um, because it'll stink up like our entire room. And being nauseous, that doesn't really help. So I do it in here because nobody really comes to this bathroom. I just kept using these ones that they gave me from the hospital because I have tons of them. Um, I was gonna switch to the uh, Coloplast Sensamil bags, but I'm almost done and I have a bunch of these bags, so I might as well just use them. I don't want it to go to waste. So what I do is I tuck it back first in here. I tuck it in the back. And then this little lip, I tuck it this way. This way. That way it doesn't open. And if it does leak, this will catch it. I don't know. And then I just take this off. Put it in there. And then take off these. On the side, make sure those are on there. Take this one, and this one I like to tuck it into my belly button. I like to tuck that one in there. And then I take that off. Make sure that it's nice and on there. And there you go, that's how I change my bag. Just the trash is all in here. And 
there you go this is what i have in my basket i have a mirror in case when i were first started but i don't really need it anymore I'm just gonna put that there i have my little thing of trash bags and my all my bags are here i need to refill this part um i have my adhesive remover spray which i'm almost this one's like almost completely gone and i have uh these are the no stain skin preps so and then i have one of these a powder just in case and a little water and that's my little basket and this i got it at the dollar store so yeah i just took everything back in um and under here and i'm good to go and then i sit here and i empty my bag it's dark in here still but i got my backpack ready i just have my laptop um my phone uh, my chargers and my wallet. That's pretty much what I'm taking. It's really dark right now. Wait, where are my shoes? Drop me off. So I'm going back in. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. Good. No changes for you since your last visit? No. Okay. Thank you. Two more left. Awesome. Two more. You go in. You got it. And then I'm going to clean. Alright, so I just got my labs drawn from my arm, not from my port. Oh, Is it not working? Am I stuck in the elevator? So I got my labs back and my potassium is still low and he's gonna yell at me because I didn't take the potassium well he gave me potassium pills and it literally just the whole pill came out of my stoma and he tried to give me um liquid potassium but I never took it warning the following content may be disturbing to some viewers viewer discretion is advised i will be having my port accessed so if you guys don't want to watch it um i'll see if i can do a skip button but please skip if you don't want to watch it for potassium because that's what I get for not taking the medication. Okay, so I just got off the web seminar, Ariana's painting. Say hi, Ariana. Hi. <laughs> She's just painting. Um, I'm making dinner right now. Um, I can't believe I'm making dinner, by the way. Shocked. I took that class, web seminar, and it's a no-go for me. So update on, anyway, so an update on what my oncologist said. I legit almost had like a panic attack and started crying because on my my chart, on my app on my phone, it was saying that I was, I was not going to be done with chemo until like September, October. 
and I almost had a heart attack. I was like, what? Did he add more? Did he see some? No, I haven't even had scans. So yeah, I'm gonna just have one more chemo after this. One more chemo. And he's gonna schedule me for a scan. And then I see my surgeon and obviously my ileostomy just to reverse it. I don't know, you put the blue on there where you make dots. You're gonna make dots with it? Yeah. Okay. But anyways, I'm making some salsa, some green salsa. So let me show you guys how to make green, authentic green salsa. These are ready or toasted, whatever. You, I put a foil on um, like a homal or a tortilla warmer, whatever you want to call it, because it prevents all this sticky mess. Um, I don't know. This is about, I don't know, like uh, I think I ordered two pounds of tomatillos. These are called, or green tomatoes. I added the four jalapenos and so that's pretty much it and the other so it's about two pounds of tomatillos two red tomatoes and four jalapenos for mild if you want it extra spicy add six this is the garlic that i use since i live uh close to gilroy it's gilroy's finest so i always buy this brand um do you need to wash them Wow, look at that, Ariana. Let me see this one. Oh, nice. You need to add these with the water that came, that all that water came from just the tomatoes. I didn't add any water. And all of this is in the blender. Um, add the salt to your liking. Um, I'm not gonna add too much, depending on what you're gonna eat it on. Try doing this without splashing. I mean, that's pretty much the consistency. Making some trees. You're making some trees? Yeah. You color coordinated all the erasers. Good job. Mm. Is that what you're doing the whole time? No wonder you were entertained. I have some good news. I enrolled in um, two of my prereq classes today, and these are just prereqs that I have to take in before I enroll in the program for um, sonography. It, it'll be fine. I had mentioned about making a GoFundMe, and I decided not to make a GoFundMe. I took everything into consideration, and I decided just to not do a GoFundMe, only because I never did it for cancer because I had insurance and we just made it work we made ends meet and i understand like everybody puts themselves through school and get loans and i mean i do have a nice home i do have a car i do have everything but that didn't come easy for me that was hard that was like 10 years of hard work not just overnight i'm probably gonna put all this on credit cards and hopefully pay it off and i know i'm gonna pay off interest or maybe just get a student loan Hopefully I, can, hopefully I can get a student loan. Everybody goes and puts themselves through school and that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna work hard and it'll just help, you know, to relieve a little bit of stress. And stress is not good. If you guys do decide to donate, I will put my Venmo and my cash up, but it'll be okay. I want to do this, I really wanna do this. And once I set my mind on something, nothing can stop me, nothing. My life has been full of fear and feel it, fear of failure and fear of not passing or just fear of failure, honestly. And I, I don't want to live like that anymore. I, what's the worst that can happen to me during going to school? What's the worst that can happen, you know? I'm trying to do this to better my life, not only mine, but the life of my family. I'm excited for the next chapter in my life. I'm really excited. I see the future that I have in the next five years and that's my plan. I'm gonna write my goals and what I wanna do in five years and time to get some school stuff started. I'm so excited. If you haven't done so already, be sure to log into the student portal 
and sign your enrollment agreement. And remember, we're here for you and we'll make ourselves available to us. Take my hair. Or my aunt's taking me to the Clovis or to the cancer center to remove the pump. So I came in my PJs. I was doing homework. I feel okay. I just, I feel, I mean, today I felt really tired and just off. So my pump is done. Let me show you. This is my little, my little pocket. It has a B on it. So I came in my PJs. Um, so see, compared to the other day, it was like super full. Now it's like empty. I feel really tired this time. This chemo, I was, I would, I'm just falling asleep. Warning again the following content may be disturbing to some viewers viewer discretion is advised the next clips are going to be of the nurse removing the needle from my port so just viewers beware warning of how I feel and I have a huge mustache that I really need to shave but I just feel really tired and I took a nap and after we went to go have breakfast and it was just way too much um, I went to one of my friends my good friends restaurant Blossom Trail near um, Woodward Park in France so really good food if you guys ever are in the area Please go try that restaurant. Doing schoolwork right now. This is so much, but I'll do it. I'll be able to do it. I feel a little nauseous, just mostly tired, which is pretty much it.